Cobram's dietitian and nutritionist Jackie is joining me today to make one of the most delicious brekkie dishes. Corn fritters. <laughs> we were just talking about this, how much we both love them so much. So, Jax, we should just get straight into it, yep. right? So, corn, fresh corn for this recipe. Um, we're going to pop that straight in the blender and just sort of reserve a small handful, about a three quarters of a handful, because I like two textures for this. Yep. I'm sure when you make yours, you do the same. Yes. Yep. And we're going to add half a cup yep. of uh, flour and also an egg for this. And you can change up the different flavours for your corn fritters. Sometimes I add herbs to it. Sometimes I keep it super simple with just a hint of ginger. Ginger um, and corn are best mates. So a good whack of that in there. Oh, let's say about a teaspoon. And while I'm placing this in, Jax, do you want to put um, some salt and pepper? Yeah. Because the um, corn's quite sweet, we really want to accentuate the sweetness of it. So I add a pinch of sugar. And just so they get really fluffy and that perfect texture, a little bit of baking powder. That's it. So easy. Just give it a whiz. Yes. All right. I think that's looking yeah. good. Yes. See how smooth that is? That's why I like the two textures for this. So you've got smooth corn and then you've got a bit of the fresh corn. And if you don't have fresh corn, there's nothing wrong with um, canned corn, right? For yeah. something like this. Yeah, yeah. So we're just going to pour this into our corn kernels. I like to also add some French shallots that are just finely chopped. And then that's it. So simple. People pay a lot of money for these corn fritters <laughs> in a restaurant. <laughs> now let's get to the frying. So yes. we're going to be frying in light extra virgin olive oil. Yes. Can you tell me a few things about light extra virgin olive oil? I think sometimes it gets a bad rap, but yeah. you can absolutely shallow fry and deep fry with it. So the reason you can deep fry an extra virgin olive oil is one, it's high in stable fats. Mm -hmm. Two, it's a natural product, so it hasn't been refined, which can kind of pre-prime an oil to already start to um, break down under heat. Mm -hmm. And three, it's high in natural antioxidants, so they protect it during heating and actually infuse into the food for some added health benefits as well. So there's a win-win. I mean, this is yeah. what you want to be shallow frying. Yeah. So there's about ooh, one centimetre worth of oil there and I kind of like the idea of not just frying a thin amount but like a medium amount so it really goes along the sides and also shapes these beautiful corn fritters. Mm. So shall we get into it? Yes. Okay. Just going to scoop the mixture and then pop it in the oil and that's what we're after, right? Those little bubbles around yep. the corn. 180 degrees is the right temperature? For frying, yeah. For frying? Yep. Okay, nice one. Well, let's make a few more of these. Yep. We'll turn them over when they're golden brown and then we can serve them up. Sounds good. <laughs> what do you reckon, Jax? They look delicious. So Very good. Yum. And we're just going to drain them. And because that oil was at that optimal frying temperature of 180. Yeah. It's not going to absorb a lot of the oil, just fry it to get that gorgeous golden colour. And Jax, do you want to just maybe um, cut a wedge of that I like. lime? Yep. Yeah, I kind of like real fresh flavours with corn fritters. Um, after draining on paper towel, you'll see they firm up even more for crispiness. And I'm just going to throw them on this plate. Oh, gently place them <laughs> on the plate. That's a really nice way to get in vegetables too for kids. Exactly. And like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't have kids, but I hear that they love their corn. Yeah. <laughs> so a spoonful of yogurt on the top, and I made my nan's relish. Mm, what's in that? That's got some chili in it, capsicum, onions. So a dollop of that on the side too. Throw on some herbs again, because Jackie's here. You always like your greens. Full of antioxidants. <laughs> Full of well. antioxidants. And fork and Thank knife. You. Let's dig in. Maybe some of that beautiful lime juice over the top. And a pinch of salt. Just a little bit. <laughs> After you, Jax. Thank you. Tell me what you think. Yum. Ooh, they're light and fluffy. They look delicious and crispy. Mmm. Well. Wow. Mmm. Mm. Sorry, I've got it on my face. <laughs> <laughs> They're actually really good. They're delicious and you can taste the, the crispiness from the extra virgin olive oil and it's lifting the flavour of the dish. It's not sort of 
um, I guess, tainting it down or anything. Yeah, it's not mm. heavy. It's that fresh flavour yep. that we're after. Yep. And that's what you get when you're cooking with extra virgin olive oil. Love it. Thanks, Jack. Mm.